What's up dudes, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all having a fantastic day as usual. So I'm not gonna lie, the video we're about to watch is incredibly painful. Like it actually physically hurts to watch this video. It's gonna be an incel trying to shoot his shot with some woman who just got her car stolen, right? Like she's not interested in talking to someone at this point. Unfortunately though, that's not gonna stop this fedora wearing loser. All right, L let's just get into it, dude. Can I hang out with you? My guy just stole my car, so he's there. Mm. Where'd he go? Newport Coast? Huh? Can I hook up with you? Okay. What kind of vagina do you have? Is it an innie or an Audi? Does it have uh, beef curtains? I'm gonna call the cops if you don't. Mm, yeah, know. fuck you. Yeah. You're annoying, dude. Why are you calling me? Because I wanna fuck. So I think it's pretty obvious the man who is holding the camera has never been laid, or at least not in a very long time. I mean, hypothetically speaking, let's say you are trying to hook up with some woman you found on the side of the street. This is not really the best way to start that conversation. I mean, it couldn't be any more obvious. This woman wants nothing to fucking do with you. Her car just got stolen. She's got bigger problems to deal with at the moment. Meanwhile, this neckbeard loser is just getting more and more pissed off at the thought he's not going to be getting laid in about 30 seconds. And the thing is, man, like, you couldn't have picked a creepier place to do this, you know? You're all by yourself in a dimly lit parking garage just walking around harassing this woman. I mean, dude, what the fuck did you expect? I mean, I highly doubt this guy shows us what he looks like, but I can't imagine it's anything too impressive, you know, just by the way he speaks, right? The whole, I went to fuck. My fat ass cock is ready to get hard for the you. Cops are coming right Why now. would you call the cops on me, bro? I'm just speaking. Yeah, again, probably not the best approach, you know? I, I don't know if i just walk up to a woman and say my fat ass cock is ready to get hard for you. I mean, you could always start with just like a simple hello, but you know, that's neither here nor there. It doesn't matter. Fuck you, you little bitch, you little void. Oh, you little, whoa, what's wrong with you? Chill out, Back chill out, chill out, hey. Chill out, chill out, chill out. You just kick me in the balls. You back up, you back up, you back up. Throw that at me, you're gonna... What the actual fuck just happened, dude? This man, I, I can't, I don't even have any goddamn words. I don't have anything. I think what's happening right now is this is the guy who watches a lot of adult films online and he thinks that they're not scripted, right? Like when the plumber comes over to the house, like I really don't want to believe he's that fucking stupid to think that those videos are real. But meanwhile, you know, some people believe a lot of things they see online. I made a video a long time ago where I said I snuck around in a neighborhood in a ghillie suit and took a picture of Jay Bowen the man selling crack to kids and uh I mean it's the most poorly photoshopped photo you could ever imagine and people still fucking believed it like people were commenting I hate this fucking guy now I can't believe him anyways getting back on track here this guy might be the biggest pussy I've ever fucking seen right first he harasses these women one of them tells him like fuck off she kicks him and then throws her shoe out I wish she hit him with the shoe but rather than the guy just standing there saying, you know, I'm sorry, I didn't realize I was taking it too far. He fucking pulls out some mace. He absolutely hosed that girl's eyeballs with the pepper spray and then just runs off like a puss. All I can say is that this guy is an absolute threat to society. He doesn't need to be within a mile of a school, of a children's playground. Hell, he doesn't even need to be a mile within a woman at this point. Like, listen, I get it. We've all been a little horn dog on the side, but you know, you, you kind of like take care of that yourself you don't necessarily just go out in public and start harassing people and i don't know if he thought these girls were just gonna get on their knees and bow down to his fucking fat cock or whatever but i don't think it's a good decision and i don't think you contribute much to society at this point and we only have one minute of footage here i can't even imagine what happened in those couple hours he probably spent down there in the parking garage all i'm gonna say is if you're trying to get laid you know you're out there looking for some uh good looking ladies probably the best thing to do is is not talk about their beef curtains when you first approach them. Anyways, fellas, I think that's going to be it for today's video. Thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it, but I also really appreciate my channel members because they're, the, they're just the greatest, dude. Let me tell you, we got Hosemad, Savarstis, Dr. Bolo gets major pussy, 
Factionator, Zingies, and Joseph. Guys, I appreciate the hell out of your support. It really does mean everything to me. If you would like to support the channel yourself, consider becoming a member today. But uh, more importantly, fellas, be sure to subscribe to the channel if you are new. Leave a like on the video if you want to support the MILFs with me. And I will catch you guys next time. Later. Hey, watch it.